What's going on everybody? So I just wanted to give another update. I did do a triple dose of fluconazole, but I interrupted that uh, dosage and that whole process and I'm gonna explain what happened. But there's some good news, there's some bad news. The good news seems that it did appear to have worked. It was killing the bubble algae. Um, I definitely didn't get rid of all of it because sadly my uh, pintail fairy wrasse Something happened to its swim bladder. Um, I'm pretty sure at this point it was not the fluconazole. Just something to note. Um, I do appear to have some fish aggression going on somewhere because I noticed my uh, yellow chorus wrasse is, is looking pretty beat up from somebody. I haven't seen who's been doing it, but I need to catch, catch them in the act and uh, get them out. Um, I, I don't even have a suspect right now. But um, basically what happened is uh, a couple days into the process, I, I noticed the pintail fairy wrasse um, wasn't looking too good, was swimming upside down, definitely something wrong with the swim, swim bladder. So I isolated it in my uh, large fish trap that I use to catch the fish when I do have an issue. Um, tried to feed it, wasn't eating too good. So I ended up turning on the skimmer and the skimmer went nuts and basically started pulling out what I suspect was most of the fluconazole. Most of the treatment was being pulled out by the skimmer. Um, sadly, I didn't save the uh, pintail fairy wrasse. Wasn't too sure what to do. Um, not too comfortable with operating on a little tiny fish. Uh, don't think he was gonna eat any peas. So sadly, he's passed on. Um, but on the good side of that, the fluconazole did appear to be working. I'll show you a little bit of that up close. Um, number one easiest spot to track was uh, right here on the power head, the Nero 5, where it had a lot of bubble algae was growing on it. It appears to be a little bit more than half of it is gone. I still have a good bit of it on the rock work, so it didn't take out nearly as much as I want to. I want to get rid of all of it. So. I'm pretty confident the fluconazole works. I'm gonna do this dosage one more time the right way. Uh, I'm gonna keep the skimmer off the entire time and then update that um, later on. A lot of that was back here and it appears there's still a good bit of bubble algae, but a lot of it is gone. It wasn't as much as it was before that treatment. It started to turn pale white and basically kind of like looked like they were a few pieces were deflating and it seemed to be the ones in the highest flow were going first that was something i, I noticed um so it definitely appears to work i'm pretty confident in that it was working and in the last video lots of you came out about uh the vibrant so it was almost like the vibrant police were all out force um I definitely believe everybody that that product works um, from the consensus of everybody's comments. It seemed that that worked. It took about two months for it to uh, get rid of the bubble algae. So the only problem I have with that stuff is it, it's a form of carbon dosing. And I'm really trying to stay away from that as it, it appears to have, I think it was vinegar, uh, a solution of vinegar in it. And what I think is maybe beneficial bacteria. I'm not sure about what else is in it, but I'm pretty sure it's a form of carbon dosing, which I'm not into doing right now. And seeing that it took about two months um, to eliminate bubble algae with that stuff, it appears to be the fluconazole would take about half of that time. So I'm definitely, for the sake of experimenting and finding other solutions to the same problem, I'm definitely going to go ahead and do this all over again. Um, the uh, same triple dose of fluconazole. I have some more on backup. Wasted all of that on the on the first go around, but that's part of the process, make mistakes. Um, but luckily I saw positive signs of it killing it and nothing else in the tank has appeared to be affected. As you can see, all the corals are super healthy. They're still growing just as they were before I started the dosage. All of my other fish are completely fine. I didn't notice anything weird with any of them during that time that the full dose um, was in the tank. So pretty sure the fairy pintail fairy wrasse was having some other issues and taken, uh, I looked at a couple videos before it happened and I noticed it was acting weird. 
before I ever dosed anything. So I think something happened to him before I ever fully dosed the tank. Uh, but just something to note uh, and being full transparent about it. Um, so yeah, another thing is, so I'm gonna do this, do get a little bit of cyano, which um, starts sprouting out. That usually happens when I use fluconazole almost every time. Uh, I haven't been really good on putting the Roophos into the tank when I'm running it. And I didn't think that the bubble algae would release that much phosphate, but it, it appears um, that I'm thinking bubble algae is pretty potent in, in the phosphate. And so it was releasing that back in and I probably got a little bit of a spike and boom, cyanobacteria again. So this time, no skimmer the entire process, no carbon, definitely no carbon ever when you're running any medication. And um, definitely gonna run a little bit of Roophos and make sure, I have to make sure in, with the Roophos that I do not bottom out my uh, phosphate levels. So that's what's gonna happen. And um, yeah, uh, hopefully in the future, I'm gonna have some more videos talking about uh, the what I dose in the tank and how I dose the stuff and the solution. Um, and a little bit about the 3D reefing diffusers. I, I need to touch up on that. I'm getting a lot of questions. That last video got a lot of views and I really appreciate that. It got a lot of subscribers out of that. It kind of went a little bit viral. I'm pretty surprised about that. I think it was about 20,000 views in about three weeks, which is awesome, you know, and I appreciate that. And I appreciate all the new subscribers. So I'm gonna try to keep updating everything a little bit more, especially now that we're at home and, uh, yeah, but that's it for this one. I appreciate everybody watching, sticking with me. I'm gonna give this one more go around and document everything pretty confident. Everything's gonna work. So that is it. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you on the next one.